to the biggest NYC vlog I have ever done. I have planned four days here in New York City of all of my favorite places to see, things to eat, things to do, and I'm hoping that this will serve as a New York City guide for those of you who are visiting for the first time or are repeat customers. However you do New York, I have compiled touristy things, off the beaten path things, my favorite wine bars, my favorite little stores, my favorite neighborhoods, all into one video for you so you have it as a reference and a guide as you explore the city. Come along because it is day one and today is that tourist thing day. you have to do brunch at least once it's our favorite time of day here oftentimes boozy and we have just started our day at Bluestone Lane Cafe on the Upper East Side right across from Central Park there is a location located in a church it's very pretty the food is always on point it's a very light meal and now we are headed to the Met which is a seasonal summer installation and these views are crazy so if you are here in the summer I highly recommend <music>
macro clock after hours in the Met. So we are headed to the Ralph Lauren Cafe here on the Upper East Side. It's part of their entire townhouse that you can shop. But they also have a cafe in the bottom. It's really cute. The coffee's good. And they have some fun souvenirs there. made it to the prime photo spot if you're looking to get engaged, if you're celebrating, if you're in Central Park for fireworks on New Year's Eve, come here, watch them, watch the city, look at all of these skyscrapers and super talls, all the little sticks, those are called super talls, fun fact, and um, it's right off of the corner of 59th and 5th Avenue, you can take that road into the park and you will eventually come across it, it's not super hard to find. And look at that view!
headed to dinner because we were hungry and we're gonna do K barbecue. Welcome to day two of our four days in New York. This morning I'm in Soho because that is one of my favorite Manhattan neighborhoods to shop around in and we're gonna have ourselves a little sex in the city day because Soho is right next to West Village and all of this is just a really cute area. Lots of shops, good food, and that is what we're doing today. Starting with coffee and I woke up today craving croissants and there's a really good spot here in Soho. in Soho that if I covered them all we'd still be here next month so today I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite New York City souvenir shops there are a handful of stores here that are NYC based small brands that sell their own spin on NYC merch <laughs>
and it is time for a sweets break. I am walking through Soho and they have closed off the best street. This is the place you want to come for Instagram photos. Everyone who's taking them in Soho, there are lots of lovely backgrounds, but this is my favorite because it's got the three colored buildings right next to each other. And I just paused to take some pictures because when the police closes down the street for parking is a great opportunity. Welcome. If you haven't seen Two Drinks Chantal, so glad you got to experience her now. I just finished at Dante. Highly recommend their martini o'clock. They have $10 martinis and their appetizers are amazing, especially the bread with smoky butter. Whatever was in that butter, so good. Now as my last stop of day two, we are going to Prince Street Pizza. I know we are backtracking, but I just didn't have room at lunch. And so we're getting it for dinner because if you are in Soho or close to Soho, or you're just anywhere in Manhattan and you're looking for that, that perfect New York City pizza, this is my favorite controversial opinion because everybody has their favorite slice. This is mine. We even got it for Luca's first birthday and trucked it all the way out to Astoria, Queens, where we celebrated. So. Let me be the first to tell you, it is amazing. Pepperoni slice always.
welcome to day three of our four days in New York City. We are going to get bagels this morning. We're gonna hit up a couple of trendy spots and do a little taste test because one of them I've never tried and the other one I am a fan of. Then we're headed to Washington Square Park and eventually we're gonna make our way to the Lower East Side because any trip to New York should at least stop by there once. It is such a retro New York City neighborhood and so many great shops and bars there. So that is our day today. Let's get into it. I've come to Washington Square Park, found a bench, and we're gonna do a little bagel review. All right, it's time for the real taste test. Viral bagel first. This is the pop-up bagels. You rip, you dip, something like that. Mm. Looks amazing, can I get a piece? <laughs> this is the scallion cream cheese. It's pretty good. Very fluffy. A little bit burnt flavor, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. All right, next up, Leon's Bagels. I have featured them before. I'm a big fan. This is controversial, but so are any bagel opinions in New York City, so you just gotta go for them and own them. I got a sausage, egg, and cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is very tasty, not gonna lie. I've also had their just bagel and cream cheese before, and I'm a fan. They're all on Thompson Ave, so make your choice, see the lines, do your thing, have some breakfast. <laughs> We have made it to East Village and I just want to say that the Strand positively surprised me. I've actually never spent that much time in that bookstore and not at that location. Loved it and coincidentally if you are looking for New York City souvenirs they actually have quite the selection so I recommend checking it out. Now like I said we're in the East Village 
and I'm having an afternoon sweet craving. So we're headed to a vintage candy store. And then we're gonna have a shop around the Lower East Side because there are a ton of indie boutiques. The entire neighborhood is basically a patchwork of old tenements, new luxury apartments, shops, bars, restaurants. It's a really nice vibe. It's very like grungy and full of graffiti, but lots of trees in the streets and the energy is usually great to noon and nighttime. That's why I think it's worth a check out. And we're headed to dinner. So that is the plan for the rest of the day. And I'm excited for some sweets. and I'm about to take you along to some of my favorite little boutiques here. All very quirky and alternative and that is what I love about this neighborhood. You never know what you're gonna find when you walk into a shop and what kind of pop-ups are around here, so definitely worth exploring. Hello and welcome to day four in New York City. If you're not tired of walking yet, then you must be superhuman. So today is going to be chill. We are going to go coffee shop hopping and shopping here in Williamsburg and Brooklyn. And then later we're gonna get some amazing views in Dumbo, hit up the Brooklyn Bridge and end with a banger of a dinner and rooftop. That is the plan.
coffee and shopping to come check out the waterfront here. Whenever I go to Devotion, I also stop by Domino Sugar Park because it's so beautiful. It's a small little very designed park by Shop Architects. They're one of the big architects here in New York City and they're building a gigantic development right behind us. But the park was first and it's a lovely little spot. They have a great playground. They also have volleyball courts and you can hang out here all day if you really wanted to. And you get the Manhattan views. So I'm a big fan, as you can tell. We are done shopping for the day. If you are looking for a splurge, then I recommend Catbird. They are a Brooklyn-founded, Brooklyn-based fine jewelry line, and this is their signature bracelet. It's called the Sweet Nothing. Really, the signature signature is getting a forever bracelet, but I personally have a two-year-old at home that pulls on everything, and it terrifies me, the thought of him pulling it off. So I got the one with the clasp, and you can go crazy designing it with different charms or you can get a different chain style. So that is their most popular, but they also have a ton of different jewelry as well as an entire wedding section for those of you who like thin and dainty and gold. So now that I have my souvenir, we're headed to the ferry because we are going to Brooklyn Bridge. If you spend any time in New York, this is a must do, so we're gonna do it. Did I mention we're taking the ferry? We're taking the ferry. to Dumbo. It's only two stops from North Williamsburg to Dumbo. Super fast. The ferry is four dollars. It's barely more than the subway. You can buy drinks on board. That's something you're into. It's not too shabby and I have a whole guide on things to do in Dumbo. I'll put it up here but we're gonna go hit the highlights. One, we need pizza. Two, we need to go get ourselves a really good view on top of the West Elm headquarters. And three, we're walking the Brooklyn. 
Brooklyn Bridge. That's what we're gonna get up to. going to quite possibly one of the most New York City restaurants. It's even called Manhattan and it has an amazing view. It's located on the 70th story of a building over here and they recently, semi-recently reopened and they now have a full food menu and a bar and I am excited. apartment and I am about to do a New York City haul. These are all of the items that I picked up over the last four days in New York City and they are either by local brands or brands that have specialty New York edition products. These are all things that I think would make great souvenirs or gifts so let's get into it. One thing that I love about New York City is that a lot of restaurants and cafes actually do their own merch. So we have picked up the Leon's Bagels merch. I have a t-shirt and they threw in a free keychain, which is really cute. And the shirt is just very New York. It's in New York City's signature green color. I love the font and it's got bagels on the back, so what more could you want? I've also picked up a strand pouch. These are great for carrying all kinds of things in your tote bag. And I also picked up some lovely New York City cards and key rings. These are a nice alternative to the usual photograph postcards and feature New York City prints. If you love coffee, New York City has some really great independent roasteries and I've picked up two of my favorites. 
One is Devotion. They are the Brooklyn-based cafe that we went to with multiple locations in the city. And the other is the Manhattan Blend from Partners Coffee, also in Williamsburg. One of my favorite sweets to actually take back from the city is Tate's Bake Shop. I love their chocolate chip cookies, but they also make a variety of other flavors, all equally great. And again, signature green packaging. They are as beautiful as they are tasty, so these make a really great gift. Now, two things that are part of the New York uniform are totes and hats. And I have two right here. If you're comfortable going full tourist mode, then the Met has an amazing hat. Totes are an essential carry-all item as you walk around the city. And the most asked question I get is about where this New Yorker tote is from. You actually have to subscribe to the New Yorker in order to get it. And if you don't have that opportunity, then there are a number of other options that you can find around the city. Getting into homeware, I picked up the signature Ralph's coffee cup. This is going to be lovely in fall, and it has the classic diner aesthetic that New York City is also known for, so it makes a really cute addition to your coffee shelf. Continuing with the home goods theme, we have a couple more items that I picked up at some of my favorite stores. First up, we have these spoons from Mogutable. They are Japanese-inspired wooden spoons, and I love to use these for desserts or to stir my coffee in the morning. And then the pièce de résistance is the coffee mug from Workaday Handmade. This is from Coming Soon, and they feature a collection of local homeware designers. Finally, if you are looking for a luxury gift to give to yourself, I picked up the Catbird Forever bracelet, but as a removable version because I have a toddler. Otherwise, you can get it welded to your wrist as you saw in store. I love this kind of jewelry because I can wear it every day. It doesn't get in the way, and it's a nice little reminder of memories that you made. And finally, we have the Kate Spade wallet. This is actually my own version, so it looked a little bit beat up, but their whole collection is really cute and funky. It's a little bit pricier, but they have some really cute items, and I am seriously eyeing the pizza slice purse, guys. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in the giveaway, then let me show you what is included, and be sure to watch until the end for rules on how to enter. All right, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and maybe I will see you in New York.